And uh, Cynthia, going back to you, what happens uh, to the medications which you recommended continuing, but what if the, the pregnant woman tests positive for COVID-19? Yeah, that's a very tricky question. We um, feel that it is important for patients, as we said, to continue on their medications. We know that active disease in itself increases the risk of adverse outcomes for the mum and for the baby. And the most likely one of that is the risk of preterm birth, babies being born before um, 37 weeks of age. And those babies just aren't so strong. They're more likely to be at risk of infections themselves. So it is tricky when we talk about um, a, a woman who is pregnant and does, um, you know, she should not stop her medications during the pregnancy um, at all. If she does unfortunately become COVID positive, that's difficult because most of the medications that we use for IBD have long half-lives. So I would advise if the patient was actually due to infuse during those 14 days or so, that that may be delayed. But most of the medications otherwise are usually quite well spaced out when you're talking about medications such as the infusions, the oral medications such as azathioprine and all that stick around in the system for quite some time. So that's why we really do, do advise for patients if they're not COVID positive to continue on their medications. If they are COVID positive, please contact your physician, but don't do things alone. Let us know we're here to help. Thanks, and we are absolutely. I think there's people working around the clock really trying to answer calls, trying to answer questions. So please do call your nurse, your physician, whoever your first point of contact is with, with questions that you may have.